Hi, it's Jeff Challen. So in this screencast, we're just going to go through the process of adding a button to our UI. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward task, and it's something that we can do um, largely inside the UI designer. So I'm going to go over here to the buttons area, and I'm going to grab a button. I'm just going to drag it into my layout. Um, you'll see here that the button has been assigned an ID over here of button 2. Remember that any component that you use in the UI that you want to reference in your activity has to have an ID, a unique ID, and it should be something meaningful. Um, and in this case, because we're working on a weather application, I'm going to call this button get weather. Um, the width and height here are a, a little bit interesting. So right now this button is spanning the entire screen. That's probably fine. Um, we'll look at how to change that in a minute. Uh, the text on the button obviously shouldn't say button, it should say something like update, so I'm going to change that. You can see a change in the UI. And I'm more or less done here. Now, one, one question here, here is, you know, um, do I really want a button like this that spans the entire screen? Um, this is, you know, when you see something like this, sometimes it's sort of characteristic of, of very basic um, Android design. So let's see if we can do a little bit better than this. So um, one thing to explore here is um, the this gravity property of the linear layout container. So this is kind of an interesting um, interesting property. So what this controls is kind of where the items that go in the container end up on, on the display. So you'll see top, uh, they start to stack at the top, bottom, um, sorry, bottom they're going to cluster to the bottom, um, center, uh, means that they're going to center on the display. Um, if I fill, they would actually try to fill the entire display. This button doesn't have a, a, a layout that allows it to fill, so, so that's fine. Uh, start and end, um, same thing sort of at the top and bottom of the container. I can center it horizontally, but not vertically. Um, and I can, use, I can compose some of these, so I could use like top and center horizontal, right? So that means that elements are going to start at the top, but they're going to be centered horizontally. Um, now, right now, this doesn't look any different because the width of this UI element is still as wide as its container. But if I go over here and set its width to uh, wrap content, now you can see that the button is only as large as it needs to be to display the text inside of it, um, but it's also centered horizontally, which is kind of nice. Um, I might want to have this button at the bottom. Um, that's you know kind of a, a normal thing to do. So I could go over here and, and change the gravity to bottom. So now that button is at the bottom of, of the display. So these are just some of the options you have in terms of controlling how, how things appear. right? In this case, we know essentially what we're doing is we're not really changing anything about the button, although I did make it um, less wide. What I'm doing is I'm changing these properties on the linear layout uh, parent that's containing the button. Because that linear layout, as we talked about before, is really entirely responsible for controlling how a particular element, uh, sorry, where a particular element appears in the UI. It doesn't have any content of its own, it's just in charge of organizing the content that's inside of it. So I encourage you to sort of mess around with this a little bit, see, see what you can accomplish, see what different types of layouts you, you, you may be able to, to build using these simple tools.